So this is my Alley Cab Explorer um, that is solid aluminum, top and bottom. The problem is I wanted really nice windows that are dented on the sides. And so I watched a bunch of videos on how to cut into the side of vans and install windows. So I ordered windows and I got the frames. And so the first thing they tell you to do is on the outside edge of the frame, you make these like templates and I made a couple. And then you use the templates to kind of figure out where your window is gonna go. And since uh, these are locks from the outside, so in order to center the window, I use the locks as something to center the window in between. So the measurement from the edge of my cut or the hole that's gonna be right here, this is gonna be a hole, uh, is about five and a quarter inches from this point to here. And then the same thing over here. And then on top to make sure I'm perfectly level or centered. Um, this is three inches down, three inches down, three inches down, and three inches down. So the scary part is not doing the template and checking your math a thousand times, but actually drilling the holes, because it's very permanent, uh, into my template that I have. Once I have the holes, I guess I can go to the outside and then I can line up my template, my cardboard template, and then trace it on the outside. And then we cut bigger holes from the saw blades and then we start cutting, which is super scary. Drilling the holes is scary, but like, Oh my God, drilling a massive hole in the side of your camper shell that no one else has done. This has never been done on this camper shell that I know of. So if we do it and we do it good, this will be the only one maybe in the country, maybe in the world, who knows? So we'll see. It is scary. We drilled holes, very permanent holes, from the inside out. And that helps us line up the template on the outside so we can trace around it with Sharpie to see where we're actually gonna cut. And my wife had a wonderful idea, is take a measurement from here, this little seam, all the way across to my template. And of course, it's three inches, which is what my top measurement was, three inches, three inches, three inches. So perfect, perfectly level. And that's what we want. Cause if anybody's gonna notice, if it's not level, when you look down the side of a very straight, very boxy look, you're gonna notice that it's crooked or whatever. So in my opinion, I'm no professional. This is the first time I've done anything this crazy is in my opinion, if this is straight, we'll be good. And if it's, straight and level and centered between the two locks like we were talking about, it'll be good. Because there's no way you can see both sides of the car at the same time. But if you look down the line of the car, if it's not straight, you're gonna 100% notice it, even if it's off just a little bit. So next step is taking a Sharpie that will sh Sharpie on black, so silver, gold, and I think there's a copper color. We're gonna trace around this so we can actually see where we're gonna cut.
All right, we're about to cut the massive hole in the side of my truck. So here we go. This was a super thin blade that allows you to do a lot of really curves and metal, but I can switch this out for a thicker blade for long straight cuts. And so that's kind of what I think I should do. All right, I'm gonna switch it. Nice. All right, so I think I just cut through the hole number two on the other side. So we're gonna take the painter's tape off and see if I cut all the way through and hopefully I'm done. Maybe just a little bit of filing and maybe even painting the edges. So let's see. She's out. <laughs> oh man, that was that was gnarly, scary as hell. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like after I did some file work. Just cleaning up the edges, and as you can see, you can see all the way through to the other side and we can walk around and you see that side too pretty cool
All right, so this is the last part. Uh, we've put the seal on like you guys have watched us do in the time lapse part of it. Um, this is the part where and you, you definitely need two people. So one person needs to set the window actually in the hole. And then another person, which will probably be me, will go inside, get the frame, and then we'll start screwing the frame to the window. And while you're doing that, it's okay to get like one screw in, um, but you also need to make sure you're, you're good and level. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I have my wife holding, putting pressure on the window. Um, and the thing that's a little bit different about this setup is the canopy is at an angle. So it's not flat like a van, which makes it a little bit more tricky. Um, she has to put a lot of pressure when we start screwing the frame down into the window. But what I'm also doing is looking at the hole, looking at the seal, and then I'm just checking to make sure it looks good. And also looking for light gaps, which I don't see anything. So I think we're good. I think we're level. Um, another good thing is you can have somebody eyeball it from the outside, your person holding it, and then we can just go ahead and do it. So I think we're good. Are we good out there? Yeah. So I'll go ahead and get the frame on. And yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to start. Uh, Probably right here. Okay. Like I said, she's gonna have to put a lot of pressure on the window as I'm screwing the frame down. All right, so we're all done. And you can test your window, make sure everything works sure your screen works there you go we're all done